In the spring of 1988, a commuter airplane with 95 people on board suddenly lost a 20-foot section of its top and fuselage while flying at 24,000 feet above the Hawaiian Islands. The following is a depiction of events leading up to the incident and of the terrifying flight that followed. Although certain characters have been created to ensure privacy, this film was made with the full cooperation and technical guidance of the crew on board. Paradise 228, cleared to land straight in, runway 4 left. Be advised, traffic 2 o'clock, a mile and a half, maneuvering 1500. He has you in sight. Paradise 228. Give me flaps 15. Cabin decompression. Activate emergency oxygen. All right. Emergency oxygen. Activated. Paradise 228, we are experiencing rapid cabin depressurization. Fire in number two engine. Number two thrust lever, idle. Number two start lever, cut off. Number two fire handle, pull. I'm turning it to the right. First fire bottle fired. Paradise 228, this is approach, confirm depressurization. Paradise 228, we are experiencing rapid cabin depressurization, followed by a fire on number two engine. Paradise 228, say souls on board, fuel on board. Paradise 228, souls on board, 75 passengers, five crew, fuel on board, 7,000 pounds. Okay, review the fire checklist. Uh-oh, we got a hydraulic problem. Hydraulics? I'm sorry, gentlemen. But we got to stop. We got some sort of a computer malfunction out here. I don't know about your pal BJ. <laughs> Software technician, please report to simulator 9. Software technician to simulator 9, please. Really had you guys going in there, didn't we? You did? Gee, I didn't notice. Anything seems strange to you up there? Oh, no. I always practice landings with one engine on fire, no hydraulics, and a hole in the fuselage. I mean, doesn't everybody? Do I detect a tone of hostility here, Mr. You're Mallory? damn right. Nobody throws three major emergencies at you in the simulator all at the same time. Whoa, Come on! Whoa, 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 that was two. Really? Where'd you learn to count? How do you figure it, Bob? Well, I mean, rapid depressurization really isn't a serious problem at 10,000 feet. That's correct. Good. That was two, Mr. Mallory. Awareness is the key here. Besides, it doesn't make any difference how many major emergencies you're dealt. When you're up there for real, you better be able to handle them in the order of importance. And you have simply got to learn to stay ahead of your aircraft. I was just following procedure. But you gotta be able to combine procedure with good judgment. You gotta use your head. You gotta think to be able to prioritize and focus on what's essential. Hey, Craig, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, look, I flew what? A hundred missions in now. And I'm here to tell you, when it hits the fan, you better be ready. Because you're supposed to be a pilot, not just a glorified bus driver. Excuse me, but we're doing okay so far, aren't we? No, you're doing all right. But you might try to think about what we're saying here, Craig. That's all. Mr. Brand, please call your office. Mr. Brand, please call your office. My God, I never would have made it in combat. At least not in the Navy. Of course, I, uh, I can't speak for the Air Force. Well, he'd have done all right in the Air Force if he'd gotten his training advance. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Because you would have been his instructor? Yeah. And unlike you, I used to get through to my students.
Haven't we met somewhere before? No, I don't think so. Oh, well, uh, can I buy you a drink? <laughs> Randall Gillette, what are you doing? I thought you were supposed to be flying. Well, I just couldn't find it in my heart to leave you alone here in Waikiki jogging like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you can't beat me. I'm on a bicycle. Hey, no, Mimi, no. I got two wheels here. Where are you going? Mimi, hey, hold up. I got something I think you should see. Mimi! What? From paradise? Uh huh. Thought you want to see it right away. Here, here, here. <laughs> First Officer Tompkins, congratulations. This is to notify you that you will attend Captain Upgrade training beginning May 1, 1988. Oh! About time. Nine years. Nine years. You're going to be making history again. You were Paradise's first woman co-pilot. Now you're going to be their first woman captain. Yeah, like my father used to say, no one ever expects an airline pilot to be a woman. You've always got to prove it. Well, you don't have to prove it to me. Oh, Randall. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'll read you back. We're going to buy lunch. Hey, 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 you should buy lunch. You got the promotion. <laughs> What's a flying cross? What kind of cross? Flying. It says here Grandpa is given a distinguished flying cross. Let me see that. I thought you were drawing me. Oh. Where did she get this? The stuff Aunt Julie dropped off this afternoon. She said she told you. Yeah, it must have come from this old scrapbook she got from Mom. She looked handsome in his uniform. He was a hero, huh? Yeah, he was. I must have been about your age when that was taken. You know, I remember being there. The band was playing and everybody was cheering. After the ceremony, we all came to the beach to have a picnic. Can girls be heroes? Sure they can. Have you ever been a hero? No. But you have a uniform. Takes a lot more than a uniform. So, <clears throat> what do you think, huh? I think you should keep flying. <laughs> Who asked you, anyway? You did. <laughs> Not to get that answer, I didn't. Come on, we better go. I told Grandma that we pick up your sister by two, we're going to be late. Five seven, verify we are clear to land. Tower, it looks like there's a DC nine still on the runway. Verify two five seven is clear to land. Two five seven, I already told you, you are clear to land. Eight left. Repeat, you are clear to land. Thank you, Paradise two five seven. You know what I mean? No, I'm not sure I can. I'll get your back up. You're a fine pilot. You're going to make a, a solid captain. It's just that... That what? Some guys, like the guy in the tower when we came in today, they're really going to test you. I think I handled it. You did. You did. Only some women are, are more gentlemen than men. You know what I mean? Listen, you really have to assert yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Look, I'm sorry I got so defensive. You flying tomorrow? Only if I don't break out. Mimi! Hi! Hi. You want to get a beer when you're finished? Oh. Meet you at the Windsock, half an hour? Great. I'll grab a table. Bob, did you get a chance to look at those paint samples I showed you at lunch? I checked the ones I liked. Okay. Yeah, 
Sure, why? It just seemed like you've been someplace else today. Something BJ said got me thinking about the Air Force again. Trim that mainsail for me, will you? And? Those pilots I trained, watching them go off to Nam. I still wish that I could have gotten a combat command. Well, I'm glad you didn't. You did everything the Air Force ever asked you to do. Yeah, but I always wonder, how would I have measured up? Oh, Unless they had to be someplace else. Oh, thank you. Beer, how do you stay so skinny? Mm, that's why I keep running, so I can eat anything I want. <laughs> you should talk. Ah, I have to watch everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. You painting again? I think I'm driving my girls crazy. I'm trying to put a show together. Can I see? You said today was your last flight as police officer, huh? No, I'm gonna give it one last shot tomorrow from the right seat with Roy. Yeah? It's our last chance to fly together. Which flight? 243, the last three legs. 243, that's my flight. Oh, great. Yeah. Still memorizing those lists, huh? Randall says I've mumbled checklists in my sleep. What do you think? Mmm. Well, I don't know much about art, but that's pretty terrific. <laughs> well, how could you go wrong with a subject like that? She's beautiful. Thanks. I don't know. They're growing up so fast, I think it's my way of trying to freeze time, you know? <laughs> I'll drink to that. Oh, wait a minute. And to Captain Amy Tompkins. I made about six trips for him already today. He must be somewhere around the 14th Holy Turtle Bay by now. How about you? I came out here this morning just to prove to Chris Wexler what a crackerjack co-pilot he's going to be missing. That's good by me. You show me and I'll tell him. It's a deal. yesterday. I just wanted to show him I was listening. Mimi, you don't have to prove anything to Chris or anybody else. I know. He knows, too. Paradise 243, this is Hilo Approach. Descend to 2000, heading 140. Radar vectors to a visual approach, runway 8. Paradise 243, descending out of 17 for 2000, heading 140. So you're a short timer in the right seat. One more run to Honolulu and I move over. Hilo approaches Paradise 243. We have the field in sight. Roger 243, cleared for visual approach, runway 8. Uh, cleared for visual approach, runway 8. Tell you what, since this is your swan song as first officer, why don't you make the Hilo to Honolulu run too? Sounds good to me.
Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you. What is this? Cookies are for first-class passengers. Not for hungry flight attendants. Oh, Phoebe, <laughs> we're starving. A little starvation would do you good. Now, quickly, down the aisle, straighten up before the passengers come aboard. Oh, nice, nice, sir. Hope you like Portuguese beans. That's all they had. Ah, sounds good. Which reminds me. I baked these last night. Oh. I don't know. I sure hate to see a first officer move up who knows how to keep the captain so well fed. <laughs> Paradise 5243 for Honolulu, now boarding at gate 3. Okay. Michelle, I brought these for everybody. Cheesecake. Me and you look wicked. <laughs> oh, but we love you anyways. CB? Mm, I couldn't. No. Every time I eat something, lady, it goes straight to my hips. Mm. That's because you're the hippest senior attendant on Paradise. <laughs> what? Well, we should do this when she's captain. That's what I want to know. Only if you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Our plane's right over there. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. Hello. 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 Bye-bye. Thanks for everything. Hello. Aloha. Right here. Here's Jesus. You okay with that? Fuel? Pumps on. 11,000 pounds. No smoking seatbelts? Auto, on. Auto, that's fine. Cool, thank you. Thanks. Why don't you let me get this? Go ahead and sit down. Go ahead. Thanks. No, that's fine. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> they never give you enough overhead space, do they? No, thank you. <laughs> Michelle, I'm Doug Trevell. I'm a ticket agent for Pan Oceanic. I'm on vacation. Thought I'd hitch a ride back to Oahu with you guys. Well, it's nice meeting you. It's open seating. Why don't you take a seat and one of us will be by to take a drink order after we take off? Yeah, I uh, know how it works. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yeah, we're fine, thanks. Did you enjoy your stay here in Hilo? Yeah, I went up to a real volcano. Kilauea? Yeah, in a helicopter. It was awesome. I bet it was. Catch you later. Bye. Hi. Hi. Excuse, please. Excuse, please. Excuse Make room for Tui. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Aloha. Aloha. Hello. Hi. I'm Tui. I <laughs> dance at the Leaky Leaky. You ever seen me? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Too bad for you. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> I'm not sure. Do you have a bigger seat? <laughs> not exactly, but I think I can get you a belt extension. <laughs> Could you tuck your bag underneath the seat, please? Thanks. Cindy? <laughs> what are you guys doing here? I thought you were on your honeymoon. We're on our way home. Jeff has to get back to work, and Paradise has me scheduled to fly this weekend. Oh, me too. I've got to fly every weekend this month. How is it, guys? Great, <laughs> but too short. We went to YPO Valley. Oh, that's just perfect. Isn't that the most beautiful place in the world? Well, we wouldn't know. We never left the room. <laughs> <laughs> Except okay. once for breakfast. I want to hear more about this, but later, guys, OK? <laughs>
Everyone's aboard. There are 89 passengers. Thank you. Can I get anyone anything? No, thank you. No, thanks. Okay. Paradise ramp, this is Paradise 243. We have 89 passengers, five crew. Standing by for corrected weight and balance data. Over. Aloha, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to welcome you on board flight 243, bound directly for Honolulu. At this time, we'd like for you to check your seat belts and make sure that they are securely fastened. Yeah. To fasten the seat belt, insert the clip into the buckle. To release, lift up on the buckle. A card located by your seat will acquaint you with the safety features on board. We recommend that you review the card before takeoff. There are six emergency exits. Jeff, forward, pay attention. I hate it when I'm doing this and no one pays attention. I'll tell you what, when we get home, you can slip into a uniform, make this announcement, and I will give you my undivided attention. Okay. Elo Tower, Paradise 243, request taxi and clearance to Honolulu. Paradise 243, taxi to runway 8, wind 0 9 0 at 1 2, altimeter 2 9 9 8. Roger, Paradise 243, runway 8. Mr. and Mrs. Hendricks, may I offer you some complimentary cookies? No, no, thank you. Takeoffs always make her nervous. When we're actually flying, I'll feel just fine. When we get there, I think we ought to run a, a jet ski. Want to? Can I drive? Can you drive? No, you can't drive. <laughs> Most boys I know like flying better with cookies. Yes, ma'am, thank you. You have a very nice young man there. Thank you. I'm very proud of him. Will the flight attendants please secure the cabin and prepare for takeoff? Have a pleasant flight. Thank you. We will. Thanks. Final's clear. Let's complete the checklist. Shoulder harness. On. Exterior lights. Transponder. Radar. Radios. Okay, ready for departure. Recall. Check. Okay, Mimi, it's your airplane. Take us to Honolulu. 1.89. Power set.
Paradise 243, Hilo departure. You are two miles south of Ocala intersection. Contact center 119.3. Uh, Roger, 119.3. Honolulu Center, this is Paradise 243, climbing out of 13000 for flight level 240. Roger, Paradise 243, proceed to call a direct lanai. Direct lanai. Looks like we're for some light chop. Better keep the seatbelt sign on. Sir, could you keep your seatbelt fastened until the captains turn off the sign? How about a beer? Sure, what would you like, a light or a regular? No, no, I mean when we get back to Oahu. <laughs> How'd you like to join me for one? No, I, I don't think so. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached a cruising altitude of 24,000 feet. Flight 243 is on schedule. We'll be landing in Honolulu in approximately 27 minutes. Three Honolulu Center, you are two miles off course. Please verify you are squawking 7700. Over. Honolulu Center, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Paradise 243, descending out of 240. Rapid depressurization, declaring an emergency. Declaring an emergency. Get a supervisor. Tell him I've got an emergency halfway between the Big Island and Maui, but no verbal confirmation. I'll notify Maui something may be coming your way. Maui approach, this is Honolulu Center.
on now. Nobody's got to save you. You've got to save yourself. Control your airplane. Control it. in a jet. You're losing altitude every second you hesitate. But Captain, when the buffet started, I looked outside at the ground for a visual reference. Yeah, and if you continued to do so, we'd be a grease spot in the dirt right now. You gotta stay ahead of the airplane. Remember, you're clicking along up there at 600 miles an hour. It's 10 miles a minute. You fall behind, you fall into mental quicksand. No one's gonna pull you out but yourself. Yes, sir, I know that. But when the right wing started to drop and you pulled my power back, I guess I got kind of excited. You focused on the problem instead of flying the aircraft. Now, the only way to stay ahead up there is to know those emergency procedures cold. You don't have time to think. Sir, I started to cross-check my instruments, but you threw me two situations that would never occur together. That is hardly fair. Look, I'm not here to be fair. I'm here to teach you how to stay alive. Now, before you get into combat, you got to realize there's a lot more to know about flying a jet than just knowing what to do with a stick and a rudder.
This is Paradise 243. Maui Tower. This is Paradise 243, inbound for landing. Over. This is Maui Tower. Say again. Maui Tower. This is Paradise 243, inbound for landing. We are just east of McKenna, descending out of 12. One engine out. We are experiencing rapid depressurization and are declaring an emergency. Over. Inbound Paradise Flight calling Maui Tower. Say again your call sign. What Paradise flights do we have due in? Paradise 244 and 246. This is Maui Tower. Is that Paradise 244 in the emergency? Paradise 244 or 243? 244. 244, say again. Come on, come on. Great, we're coming in with one engine and a big hole in the airplane, and they're worried about a wrong flight number. Maui Tower, this is Paradise 243. I'd say it was 243, if you ask me. Why the hell is 243 coming in here? Paradise 243, this is Maui Tower, save position. Maui Tower, this is Paradise 243. We are now just west of McKenna Point, descending out of 10,000. Request emergency clearance for landing into Maui. Get Crash Fire Rescue on the hotline. Tell them we've got an inbound Boeing 737 declaring an emergency, and we may have depressurization. Depressurization? From what, a bomb? How the hell do I know? Just make the call, then notify Honolulu we've got the emergency on descent, and he's coming in. You got it. Paradise 243, this is Maui Tower. Crash equipment is rolling. I've closed the field to all other traffic. Altimeter, 2 niner niner niner. Okay, Tower, I got everything. Attention all personnel. We have a 737 inbound with a depressurization problem landing on runway two. Let's get going. Paradise 243, this is Maui Tower. Just to verify, is your call sign 244 correct or is that 243? Damn, 243. Paradise 243. Hang in there, Mimi. They'll get it. By then, who cares? Roger, 243. Plan straight in, runway 2. I'll advise of any wind change. Paradise 243. Help me!
tower, confirm your altitude. Maui Tower, Paradise 243, descending out at 8,000. We're too high. Want the gear down, help us descend? What? Want me to try lowering the landing gear? No, not yet. I gotta do a controllability check first. I gotta find the minimum speed we can fly at, but we still got enough altitude to recover. You mean you want the flaps out now? Yeah, give me flaps one. Flaps one.
Copy last transmission, 243. I think they can hear you, but they can't hear me. Maui Tower, Paradise 243, copy winds. Understand clear to land runway two. Tell them that we're gonna need assistance to evacuate the airplane. We can't communicate with the flight attendants, but we need the truck and an air stair from Paradise. Maui Tower, Paradise 243, how do you hear? Paradise 243, read your mouth. Paradise 243, you're going to need an ambulance, is that correct? That's affirmative. What's the story in the ambulances, Rick? On their way. I've spoken to the dispatcher twice. Well, tell them to step on it. We could have a real mess out here. Anybody spots them, sing out now. How does it feel? Like we lost the hydraulic. The gauge is pretty normal. Yeah, well, it must be something else then. But it's beginning to handle like a truck. Can you get it back on course? I'm working on it. Okay. Let's see if we can get the wheels down. Got it.
Task at FBI. How do I get to the airfield? My truck. Well, this is Chief One with CFR. We are in position. Uh, how much fuel and how many passengers are we looking at here? Over. Thanks. You, Capali? Who the hell are you? Prescott, FBI. We just got word of an inbound jet with an onboard explosion. When's it due? On approach right now. It just isn't gonna do it. Two, four, three, you still up? Can you give us souls on board? Fuel on board. You better give them a passenger count. Fuel is 8,000 pounds. Maui Tower Paradise 243. We have 89 passengers and five crews. Maui Tower 243, you're breaking up. Please say again. Chief One, this is Tower. Just heard from inbound 243. Souls on board 94. Transmission broke up. We couldn't get a fuel estimate. We're probably looking at something in the neighborhood of 1,500, 1,600 gallons. Maybe he was able to dump some of it before they crossed land. No way. The 737 isn't equipped with fuel dumping capacity. You're kidding. And the good news is it's all stored in the wings. Yeah, wonderful. We'll keep you posted. Tower out. Chief One out. What's the story, Chief? He's coming in loaded. 1,500 gallons of fuel, at least. 1,500? What happens if she skids when she hits the runway? She'll be a fireball before we even reach her. Are we coming for a landing? Thank you. 
Polly. Damn it. Yeah, call CFR. Tell them to get ready for an explosion. If it cartwheels, we'll have bodies from here to the beach. You got it. Roger 243. If you need other assistance, advise. Maui Tower, Paradise 243. We need all the equipment you've got. This is Capali. See you again? Inbound 243 indicates its nose gear won't come down. Any chance you can phone the runway? You're joking. Wait, in the next two minutes, you got what you got. Better pray for a miracle. I've got the field inside. Can you see it? Yeah, got it. Want to arm the speed break. Put the start switches on wall. Paradise 243 wins now from 050 at 20. Go, 
120. Two. Plus 30 is 152. 152, right. Got him. I got him. My God. The cabin roof's ripped away. Wait. The landing gear. I can see the landing gear. It's it's down. Get in the radio and let them know they have a nose gear. It's down. I just hope it's locked. Paradise 243, we have visual contact. Your landing gear appears down. Pete, your nose gear is down. 243, we copy. It's down. Let's hope it's locked. Paradise 243, you're coming in pretty hot. What's your landing speed? 170 knots. 170 knots, that's 200 miles an hour. They'll run out of runway. They'll never make it. On landing, do you want me to go to Black 40, help slow it down? Yeah, but not until we touch down. Right. Just shut her down where you are. Everything is fine. Maui Airport is still closed. Let's run the passenger evacuation checklist and get out of here.
I think so. I think so. I'm a registered nurse. I can help. Hold on to me. Okay. I wish I could help. No, you don't have to help. I've got everything taken care of. Where's Cindy? It's gonna be okay. Cindy, get the stair door for me. I'm gonna take Jane down the slide. Oh my god, okay. Do you want me to come with you? No, no, it's all right. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. My wife needs help here. All right, let's get some help over here. She's coming down. Paramedics, on your toes, here we go! Yeah, that's falling there, that one piece! Hey! What's up? I just released the emergency slide! You can all get out up here! Uh, okay. Get it's okay, it's okay. Somebody will be up here in just a second. Just stay calm. If you're not hurt, Leave the plane. We'll stay calm. Okay. Now watch her. She's really hurt. Watch her. <laughs> yeah, we just yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah, stretch right a little bit here. Come on, we're supposed to leave. Dad's never going to believe this. <laughs> Come on. FBI, I want you to get everyone who can move off the plane. That's exactly what I'm doing. Now! Come on, let's move. Excuse me, go. you're gonna have to leave the plane. Let's go out of here. When I'm a registered nurse, I can help. I'm sorry, but we've been ordered to evacuate the plane. He's gotta be kidding. Hey! Move it! Officer, who are you? FBI. You understand there was an explosion. Explosion? No, I don't think so. Uh, let's stick with the facts, not opinions. What happened? I'm giving you the facts. There was no explosion. It was more like a, like a loud tearing sound. Tearing? Yeah, like the sound fabric makes when you, when you rip it. There was no bomb. No, no bomb. I'll help you with that. I'll help you. It's all right. Get some more help. Who is that? 
don't know. Somebody from the sheriff's department, police or something. They thought it was a bomb. They're trying metal fatigue. Yeah, I told him. I told him it just tore apart. Medics! Up here! Come on, fellas, we need your help. All right, we have somebody here who can help you. to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Come on. You threw me off, remember? I know. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. We need your help. Come on. I caught the fire. Okay. Right here. Okay. Right away. Come on in. Shake your hand. Kapali, crash fire rescue. You did a hell of a job. Right, Captain, there's someone who wants to talk to you. Short timer. Hey, six shooter. I'm up here in Paradise Dispatch, and all of a sudden, for some reason, you're the main topic of conversation. So how you doing? Well, we got in a bit of a situation up there, but uh, I think everything's under control now. Yeah, I heard you handle yourself pretty good for an old Air Force flyboy. Well, I went alone up there. I had a hell of a team. And they call us glorified bus drivers? Listen, I'll see you when you get back here. Maybe I'll even buy you the dinner I owe you. <laughs> see you, mate. You got it. Debriefing will be in the tower. I got a van whenever you're ready. As a result of the heroic efforts of the personnel on board, Flight 243 was terminated with only one fatality. Captain Robert Schornsheimer continues to fly for the airline portrayed in this movie. First Officer Madeline Mimi Tompkins successfully completed upgrade training to become the first woman captain to fly for the airline portrayed in this movie. Flight attendant Michelle Honda has married and moved to the mainland with her daughters and continues to fly for the airline portrayed in this movie. Flight attendant Jane Sato Tomita is recovering from her injuries. In memory of C.B. Lansing, after a 13-month study of the incident aboard Flight 243, the National Transportation Safety Board has concluded that a number of factors, including metal fatigue, contributed to the accident. Because of this incident, the airline industry has made significant changes in the operation and maintenance of all flights. <laughs> 